Can anyone guess what I'm making today? Let's see. I'll show you all the ingredients. I'm making a pineapple vanilla butter pound cake. That's right. It's gonna be from scratch. It's gonna be so moist. Probably the moistest cake you've ever had. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about some of the ingredients. Of course, they will be online. I have three sticks of butter, and that butter has been sitting there probably an hour because you want everything at room temperature. I have three cups of Swan's Down cake flour. Now, let me tell you why I like to use it. It's already sifted. So that'll save you some time. I have a half cup of milk and a half cup of evaporated milk. You can use a cup of milk and a cup of evaporated milk. I just wanted to put both of them in there. I think it gives more of a creamy flavor. And here is three cups of sugar. I know it seems like a lot, but it's absolutely perfect. Wait until you start creaming the butter. It's absolutely ideal for this recipe. Now, I have five eggs. Now this makes this recipe really neat. This is my pineapple and it's crushed. And I've been draining this pineapple for probably an hour. And I'm gonna also use the drained pineapple juice in my frosting. Did I mention we're gonna have pineapple cream cheese vanilla frosting? Yes. Now, one teaspoon of bacon powder, vanilla flavor. If you have pineapple flavor, I don't. I might use this orange flavor. Just a little bit of salt, like a teaspoon. Bake as joy to line the pan. And let me tell you about a little bit of magic. Creme brulee. Now, I learned about creme brulee when I went to cake school. It's a wonderful flavoring. And you know when you buy a cake at a really neat bakery and you can smell this floral, wonderful smell and taste. This is what it is. Now I went back to my cake school cake carousel to get this, but I have since found out you can get this on Amazon. Thank you, let's get started. I'm gonna put my butter at room temperature. All three sticks at room temperature. Okay. And I'm going to start it on low. See? I'm going to slowly add my sugar. And what I'm doing is creaming my butter. I'm gonna let this run for about 10 to 12 minutes because you want it soft and silky. You don't want granulated sugar in your cake mix. This will help it become really smooth. You see now it has these little lumps in it. In about five minutes, they'll go away. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you. Okay, we are back, and it's been about 15 minutes, guys. I'm real serious about creaming the butter. Now, uh, my daughter's already begun to add the eggs. Now, remember, the eggs have to be at room temperature. We're adding five eggs, one at a time. Okay, hold on. Okay, and that's one. Okay, come on, there's one more. You know, I love the holidays. I have lots of helpers around. Let me go, hold on, it's one at a time. I put that shield guard on because it was splashing all over. And plus there's a spout here, can you see it? 
I think that was her third egg. Egg at room temperature now. It takes, we sit it out about an hour. And now this is our fourth. Last but not least, the rest of the egg mixture goes in. All right, so we're gonna let that blend for about maybe two to three minutes and then we're going to add our flavorings. Now we are going to add our flavorings. One teaspoon of the creme bouquet that I absolutely am crazy about. Now we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of vanilla flavoring. Would you add it please? <laughs> Goodness, add it please. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. Last but not least, a half teaspoon of orange flavoring. Now, preferably if you can find the pineapple flavoring slash extract or either, pineapple oil, you can add the pineapple oil or the pineapple extract instead. Okay, in the beginning, I wanted to be sure that you knew you're only using one cup of milk, whether it's evaporated or regular or half evaporated, half regular. I'm doing half evaporated, half regular milk I'm doing it at room temperature, and you need to. And now I'm gonna add my three cups of sifted flour, okay? Now I'm gonna do alternating. Now this where this guard comes in handy so it won't splash all over. Okay, so I'm gonna do some flour. Whoops, well look, I still poured it all over, but that's what soap and water's for. I'll add a little bit of milk. I'll add more flour. Now add milk. You're just alternating. I'll add flour. Oops. I'll add milk. Let's trust the spatula. Okay. I'll add the rest of the flour. Yay. And I'll add the rest of the milk. And there you go. I'm gonna turn that up. And I'll see you in about, you don't wanna overmix this. Let me cut that off. You don't wanna overmix this. I'll see you in two to three minutes. Let's turn it back on. One teaspoon of baking powder. and a dash or two of salt. Okay, I am folding in the crushed pineapples, well-drained, room temperature crushed pineapples. And I'm literally just gonna fold in my mixture. Now this is about 16 ounces. You can use up to 20 ounces. See, I'm just folding it. I'm not even staring, see? Okay, so now we're gonna grease a 10 inch tube cake pan. We're going to use Baker's Joy. The neat thing about Baker's Joy is that it's the oil and the flour in one spray. All right, we're going to pour in our batter. We're going to place this in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes at 325 degrees. It might be a little different, give or take five minutes for your oven, 
We all know how to stick a fork in there or a cake tester and see if it's moist or not. I'm about to make my pineapple vanilla cream cheese frosting. Let's start with about, this is about three ounces of cream cheese. And you can, I mean, you can use more if you want. And, mm, oh yummy. This is two cups of powdered sugar. I'll put the rest in later. Now you can use a couple of tablespoons of the pineapple. Now you can buy pineapple juice, you can use milk. This is the juice from the crushed pineapple. And then we're gonna use a little bit orange flavoring and we're gonna use vanilla flavoring. One second. And vanilla, and I have to open a new one. Just a little bit. Okay. And we are just going to bring this together. And you want it at a certain consistency. For instance, to me, this is too watery, no problem. We can add powdered sugar to until it's a consistency that you like, okay? You can add your powdered sugar until it's the consistency that you like. Personally, I wanted to be sure that I got enough of the pineapple juice in there. You can put less. I'm gonna probably add a little more powdered sugar and we'll be back in a second. Okay, the cake is ready and it baked at 325 for about one hour and 15 to 20 minutes. Every oven will be different. Let's get this turned over and put on my turntable. Well, look at that wonderful moist, look at that bouncing back up, wonderful cake. I had a little small piece from the bottom, just a little bit. It's so moist. And this is our wonderful pineapple vanilla butter glaze frosting. Wanted to let you guys know, I ended up adding two teaspoons of butter. It just gave it that kick that it needed. All righty, we are about to frost the cake. And it's a glaze, so it's not really a frosting. It's going to lightly. That's the thing about the tube. It's fun, it'll drip on the sides. Now here's another thing, guys, I want to tell y'all about. When you're doing the tube, so it won't drip in the oven, and if it does, you just clean it up. But something you need to do, you can take flour and stop up where the two pieces meet, or you can put parchment paper. Because in most instances, a tube will drip. Don't we just love making this mess? Look at that. Did I make enough frosting or what? Yummy. Mm, 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 mm. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm gonna finish playing with this frosting and I will put this, I will plate this and I will come back with the finished product. I think I'm gonna put gold dust on it. That's what I think I'll do, just to make it look festive. All right, I am finished frosting and I have, I'm putting it 
all over. I'm putting this gold. Now this is just a little extra touch, okay? It's just gold luster dust. All right. Okay, all it does brush is too proper for me. I got dust from my cocoa bombs. Now be sure to look at my holiday cocoa bomb videos. But look, look how classy that looks, okay? Just a spray of gold. I'll get a little more. A little more. And here is the final product. This is our pineapple vanilla butter pound cake with cream cheese frosting. But the neat thing about this is that I put the holographic and the gold dust. So this marbling effect that you see for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's is that Let's see if we can, is the gold dust. Yummy. Thank you and happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas and happy New Year's from our home to yours.